Learning English is amazing. Kick in. Let us explore and have a wonderful experience in English. I am Teacher Janice, your English hero and learning buddy in today's journey. Prepare your English journal and pen as we go on board in learning while enjoying our lesson part today. Elementary English 5 Quarter 1, Week 1 Filling out forms Our most essential learning competency is Fill out forms accurately Let us have our daily expressions In Filipino, we say Nakakaaliw pagmasdan ang mga kumukotitap na ilaw in English, we say, it is delightful to watch the glistening lights. Let us have our vocabulary. Our vocabulary for this episode is information sheet. An information sheet is a form containing basic personal information. It is a printed type of document with blank spaces to be filled out with necessary information. He wants to be an English hero. If your answer is yes, then bring out your best. Let's do the E. Let's have learning while enjoying continue shining. Unfolding the meaning of nouns, pronouns, adverbs, and verbs. There is an excitement in every word. Be an English hero. Be the best. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to fill out information sheets correctly. Before we proceed, let us find out if you can fill out forms correctly. Try to fill out the form in your learning activity sheet. Let us check your answers. Name, Miguel M. Seralde. Sex, male. Age, 10 years old. Birthday, January 1, 2012. Grade and section, grade 5 patients. Learner's reference number, 111-497-010222. School, Tagboros Elementary School. Father's name, Peter R. Seralde. Mother's name, Maria M. Seralde. Address, Purok Maligaya, Barangay Tagboros, Puerto Princesa City. What is your score? Did you get the perfect score? If yes, good job! If no, don't worry. This activity is just to check what you already know. We will deepen your understanding so you can get a higher score at the end of this episode.
be excited! Today is a new day for you to learn to fill out different information sheets correctly. What do you miss most on face-to-face -face learning? Can you guess what these pupils are doing inside the classroom? Let's read this text to find out. It was the first day of school. The grade 5 class had just finished introducing themselves to their classmates. Miss Mila Gregas, their teacher advisor, distributed a school form to the class. She asked them to fill it out. Here is how Sophia filled out the form. School, Tagboros Elementary School. School year, 2020-2021. Name, Sofia R. De Los Reyes. Age, 11. Address, Mahogany Street, Purok Masagana, Barangay Tagboros, Puerto Princesa City. Birthday, February 24, 2010. Birthplace, Puerto Princesa City. Father, Joseph S. De Los Reyes. Mother, Marie R. De Los Reyes. Who filled out this form? You are correct! Sofia R. De Los Reyes. Where does she live? You are right! She lives at Mahogany Street, Purok Masagana, Barangay Tagboros, Puerto Princesa City. When is her birthday? Very good! Her birthday is on February 24, 2010. What does an information sheet contain? It is a form containing basic personal information. It is a printed type of document with black spaces to be filled out with necessary required information, such as full name, which includes surname, first name, and middle name then birth date and address. Schools use this to obtain pupils' necessary information. Here is another example of a school information sheet used by a teacher advisor in his or her class. Pupils' information sheet. His name, first name is Jasper Ho. The middle initial is M and the last name is Timbangkaya. His birthday, the month, is January. The day is 1 and the year is 2012. His nickname or preferred name is Jazz or Hope. His age is 9 years old. His talents are playing ukulele and painting. His favorite subject is science and his favorite color is orange. How did Jasper Hope fill out this form? Let's find out! Here are the things you should keep in mind when filling out forms. Read its printed instruction carefully before writing. Write only the needed information. Be sure it is complete and accurate. Proper nouns should always begin with capital letters. Surname, last name, and family name are the same. The given name and first name are the same. In writing address, do not forget to use comma. Example, Santan Street, comma, Purok Maligaya, comma, Barangay Tinigiban, comma, Puerto Princesa City. If the item does not apply to you, leave it blank or write in A, which means not applicable. If there is an unclear item or you are not sure how to answer, ask for help. Avoid erasures as much as possible. Handle the form with care as you fill it out. 
Review all your entries on the form before submitting it. I know you learned from our discussion. You are now ready for our activity. To fully deepen our understanding, let us have our practice. Grade 5 learners, let us have our first activity. Prepare your pen and English journal. Please help Anita, a grade 5 pupil, accomplish the information sheet below. Anita S. Barcelona was born on July 9, 2010 at Barangay San Manuel, Puerto Princesa City. She is residing at the same address with her family. Their father is Eduardo U. Barcelona and their mother is Vivian S. Barcelona. Let us see if you answered it correctly. Information sheet. Name, Barcelona Anita S. Age 11. Nationality, Filipino. Date of birth, July 9, 2010. Sex, female. Place of birth, Puerto Princesa City. Residence, Barangay San Manuel, Puerto Princesa City. Father, Barcelona Eduardo U. Mother, Barcelona Vivian S. Did you get all the answers correctly? Don't worry, we still have another activity. This time, let's pretend you will enroll all by yourself. Fill out the enrollment form accurately. Self-check the form that you filled out based on what you have learned and submit it to your teacher in English. Were you able to fill it out correctly? That's great! We are done learning how to fill out forms correctly. Let us sum it up. In filling out forms, we should read its item in the form very carefully. Follow printed materials. Give true and correct information. Avoid making erasures. Handle the form with utmost care. Grade 5 learners, as we end our episode, we need to test your skills if we have really achieved our learning objective. Let us now have our short quiz. You can use your learning activity sheets and answer it. Complete the information sheet below with your own personal information.
Check your own answers by looking back at the things to remember and filling out information sheet. Submit it to your English teacher. I know you did well. Come, claim your English hero badges. If your score is 9 to 10, claim 5 badges. If your score is 7 to 8, claim 4 badges. If you got 5 to 6, claim 3 badges. If you got 4 and below, you may claim 2 badges. Now it's time to extend your learning for your assignment. You want to join a school organization. Fill it out with your information. Make sure that all data being asked will be filled out correctly. Hello again, Grade 5 learners! Congratulations! You were able to finish the task in today's lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Janice, your English learning buddy. Leaving you a quote, great things happen to those who do not stop believing, trying, learning, and being grateful. Just remember to watch Puerto Princesa Dream TV where you are the English hero. See you on the next episode for another full of fun and engaging lessons. Keep safe!